what's up libra welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourself spook grab your weed your blunt your cigarettes your drink your fruit your water hell i don't give a fuck just do you but allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have to lose and you're doing for that it truly means the world to me all right my lovely libras we're back with another love reading getting some general love messages on what's currently going on in your love life and the card that I pulled for you was Seeing Beyond. It's a pretty color. All that purple looks like you're using your intuition a lot. But it seems as though you're looking beyond the veil, past all the bullshit, seeing beyond the obvious about something. Also looking past the framework of what you already know. Finally getting out your own way. All right? You start to use your imagination more. Avoiding the traps. And fearful projection and drama. That's what's up. That's what's up. Nine. Uh, three plus six is nine. Nine represents completions. What else nine represents? Let me look at I forgot. Let me see what else nine represents. Nine represents progress, renewal, vitality, inspiration, generosity, an ending, and, and drama. Okay, so you could be looking past all that in those areas. Just apply it to your life and leave the rest. see what we got here <clears throat> looks as though somebody felt like they took you for granted because you literally carried the relationship even though the relationship felt like it was overburdened like it was depleting your energy you could have been dealing with a capricorn and this person feels yeah this person had could have had very toxic habits okay they could also be obsessed with you Apply to your life and leave the rest. This could be the parent of your child. This person is emotionally invested in you and this connection. And they ultimately want the connection to become closer ever since it's been suspended up in the air, not moving and not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, this person, you know you're looking for karma justice. For some of you, hell, looking for revenge. Okay. For what they did. If they want to bring balance back into the relationship. They're ready to become, they're ready to be fair. Okay. They're ready, they're ready to rebalance the scales of justice. And with this tower uh, card here, upside down, in reverse, they feel the trapped inside and able to get out of the situation. Okay? Even though they know that it's over, they can't, they can't help but to resist the change. Okay? Yeah, they could be, they could find out, they could, uh, they could be having a, uh, they could find out you're in a new love union with your twin flame with this lover's card here. Okay. And with this ten of pentacles here in reverse. Hmm. Someone was very greedy over money. Okay. In this love, in this family dynamic. Okay, this, this family dynamic was only built on finances. All right, and it came all falling apart. 
All right, for some of you, y'all lost money and opportunities in this family dynamic. Family dynamic is somebody that is stealing money. All right, but this person you know if they you gonna reject all their offers if they try to offer you some off, give, send you give you an offer. They know you are gonna reject all of them because you tired, bored, and just over it. But like I said, they got some clarity, and it falls right under this um falls right under the lover's card. So they got some clarity and got some truth and want to reveal their truth to you. Like I said, they could find they could know now that you could, could got some clarity about you're in your you you in a perfect union with your twin flame. Okay. You just apply to your life and leave the rest. But they want to come reveal their truth to you about you're their perfect match. Okay. They feel that you guys are a match made in heaven. Alright, the heavy hit as I see is when Aries, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces. It could be anybody. It could still be anybody. Don't get hung up on the signs. Let me clarify so we get. Yeah. Yeah, this person has been missing you like crazy ever since you cut them off. Okay. And for some of you, they could be contemplating to come towards you. Yeah, they are contemplating, waiting for the right time to come towards you. My bad. Even though they felt like they took you for granted. Okay. They could be also waiting on some money to come in. This person been feeling left out in the cold, abandoned and left out in the cold. They could be homeless ever since the third party feeling heartbroken before a third party situation because of a third party situation. Okay. Yeah. With this um, lover's card here, like I said, you're in a perfect union with an Aquarius. We got the Aquarius to clarify the lover's card. So they got some clarity. Okay, you're in a union with an Aquarius and they want to come reveal the truth to you. Okay, you could be the also dealing with a Scorpio. This person has been waiting patiently. They've been waiting patiently, for, waiting patiently and they, um, yeah, they probably been, they also been reevaluating, reflecting on living in their ego, trying to win at all costs. Okay, but they also been waiting for you, and they also feel like they walking away feeling defeated from a third party situation. Okay, just apply how the shoe may fit. All right, let's get some more messages, and I'll get you an advice card to leave it here. We got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. We got photograph, looked at your photos, missing you, nostalgic, make, making make new memories. And keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. This person who's watching your social media. Okay, and some of you this, um, yeah, and they feel nostalgic about you, reminiscing on the good times you shared and had, but they also have noticed on your social media watching your pictures that they see that you have a new love okay that you got somebody else all right and you're not too feeling too happy about that they feeling like you abandoned them and they feeling heartbroken 
All right, let's get you an advice card, and I'll leave it here. Yeah, they are broken. They basically you got other options. Hibernation and regeneration. I'll read it for you and leave it here. Find it first. Taking that meditator, simply curl up somewhat, someplace quiet with a good book. Take a few minutes to pet a cat or play with a dog. Give yourself a break from pushing forward a full, at full speed without feeling guilty about it. The world is a busy and hectic place as we all down, need downtime to give our spirit a little space for it. For it's important to work behind the scenes. Okay, the divination is this card has suggests that you haven't been taking enough time to be quiet and alone. Do you need to take a break from stressful people or situations or, you know, the internet? It can be hard to carve out times for ourselves, but burning a candle at both ends just leaves you with a burnt out candle. Even five minutes to breathe can help. You don't have to go into an actual hibernation, but you may want to walk, you might want to take a walk or sit outside or play in the dirt. All right, me loves, I'm going to leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right, me love. So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.